Hello friends, this video on Vector Algebra Part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched Part 1 and Part 2. What is position vector? Position vector is if you have any point in the space, so let's suppose you have any point in the space P with some coordinates x, y, z and you draw a line from origin and add to the P, you get position vector. For example, you have this x, y, z coordinates. First thing we'll do is we'll check if it is right hand coordinate system or not. So from x, that is x, we'll mold our four fingers to y, right, in this direction. And we'll see that z should point to, sorry, thumb should point to z. And here my thumb will point to z, right? Do a small test and we see our system is correct. Now what I can do is you take any point P on the space and let this coordinates be x, y, z. This is my sum point and I have to find the position vector of this. To do this, you have this origin, you join this. You join this, this guy became the position vector. Please note, this guy whole thing is position vector, right? With magnitude OP mod. And the value of OP mod will be root of x square plus y square plus z square. This we can very easily prove from Pythagoras theorem also. How? If you see this, I'll do that I'll take a better view of this in 3D and prove it. So let's draw this kind of diagram. So it's a 3D view of the same thing actually, where you can visualize things better. So if you see here, I have to prove that my R vector is my R vector actually. The magnitude of this, that is OP, length of OP is X square plus Y square plus Z square. Where my, as I told that this point is X, Y and Z. Correct. So that means if you take this point and draw this line here, right and from here to here in the x direction this will become length x similarly this guy is y so if you draw from here perpendicular to y direction right this guy is y and similarly from here if you draw perpendicular to z direction this side right this length will be z correct no issue till now so what we can do is, we can see that this guy R, this guy is right triangle actually if you see, R is nothing but my x square plus AP square, correct? So let me say R is nothing but root of, in this triangle, x square plus AP square, in triangle a O P. My A O P is right triangle. Correct. A O P is right triangle. When, where this uh, triangle is right, right triangle. So my R is nothing but root of x square plus this guy. Right? Because you see my A O P is like this. Sorry. A is here. P is here. My OP is R, AP is something which we don't know, it find, and O is X. So we can say that R is X square plus AP square root. What is AP square? AP is nothing but if you see AP in this triangle, this particular triangle, you see this triangle, I will say, A, B, and let this point be. Uh, n. n right so ap square is pn square plus an square pn is z and np is y so ap is nothing but root of x square plus y square or ap square is equal to x square plus y square so instead of ap square i'll say sorry y square plus z square y z square plus y square so, AP square is y square plus z square. 
So what you get R is nothing but root of x square plus y square plus z. And that's what I have written. Correct? Magnitude of R. This is my R vector. OP is my R vector. And the magnitude of this R vector is x square plus y square plus z square. And we'll, we'll be using this formula very often. So please uh, remember this. You have some position vector P with some point x, y, z. Then the distance of that point from origin O is root of x square plus y square plus z square. How we got this? By applying Pythagoras theorem twice. We had this triangle AOP. In this triangle, this angle was 90 degree. So we told that this, this length is magnitude of R is equal to root of x square plus ap square, this formula. And the same thing I write, wrote ap square as y square plus z square because ap is nothing but root of y square plus z square. Thus I got magnitude of a position vector or the distance of the position vector from origin is x square plus y square plus z square where x, y, z are its coordinates. So I hope you understood this that we have this coordinate system. We verified that this particular coordinate system is the right hand coordinate system we are looking for. And then we had some point P, some point P we had with x, y, z as coordinates. We found the position vector of that. Well, I'll tell you how to write this guy also. This guy you can write as x, i plus y, j plus z, k. I'll tell you how to do this. This is a vector representation of this uh, P, right? P vector is nothing but this. We are saying R, R vector actually. So R vector is x, i plus y, j plus z, k, where if you see in i direction, i direction, it is x is i direction. The length was x in y direction, the capital Y direction, the length was y, so it is y, j. In capital Z direction, the length was small z, so it is small z k vector. Because this vector is i vector, this guy y is z, j vector, and this z is k vector. This is the convention we use i, j, and k. We'll tell you how to do this. And that's how we write this vector. So I can write this R vector as x i plus y j plus z k also. Correct. And the magnitude of this R vector, magnitude will be nothing but root of x square plus y square plus z square. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.